And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lucas Jonathan Kirchner, live from Ellsworth High School, bringing you our final home wrestling match of the season. Um, Ellsworth on the home mat tonight, taking on Osceola. Uh, now it's six, and then at seven, they'll be uh, wrestling Baldwin Woodville. Um, currently, we have Levi Nelson for Ellsworth Wrestling. Got to update the score as well. Um, as we all know, my wrestling knowledge is not superb, so uh, I will be handing the mic off. Uh, you probably won't hear from me for a while, but probably for the better. And that is the end of the first period. Levi Nelson leads 5-0 over Osceola. Just kidding. We put one second back on the clock. Caution to red. And that is the end of the first period. Score still 5-0. Green wins the coin toss and defers to red. Levi chooses bottom. And Levi with the escape in three seconds. He shoots and gets his two for takedown. On the verge of out of bounds. Levi trying to get that cradle in, bringing him back inside the circle so he has some space to work with. Minute left in period two. Levi winning 8-0. Getting that near fall. That's two points near, near fall for Levi, 10-0.
that's the end of period two. Osceola chooses neutral. Five more points and we have a tech fall for Levi. Still in neutral, Osceola shoots. They're working their way out of bounds. Levi spins and gets his two for a takedown, 12-0. Out of bounds, brought back to the middle. Levi with control. Now we're in near fall and close to a pin. There it is, a pin for Levi Nelson. Giving us six team points. Next up at 152, we have Blake Nelson, who is a sophomore. Osceola shoots. Blake sprawls, trying to spin to get his two. Blake with the takedown. Score two zero. Out of bounds, brought back to the middle. Blake still in control. Locked hands, one point Osceola. Two seconds left in the first period. Blake still in control. That's the end of 
period one. Green has choice, defers. Osceola chooses neutral. Out of bounds, brought back to the middle, still neutral. <laughs> Fighting for control. Blake attempts to spin and get his two. Oh. Two point takedown for Osceola. Blake rolled a little too far. Score is three Osceola, two Ellsworth. Osceola attempted some near fall, but didn't quite get it. Close to out of bounds. Osceola still in control. That's the end of period two. Ellsworth's choice. Blake chooses neutral. Score, three Osceola, two Ellsworth. Questioning something with the time or the score. I'm not exactly sure what. But the wrestlers get a chance to catch their breath. Lucky them. Looks like we're ready to go. Last period with a close score of 3-2. Osceola shoots, Blake sprawls. Not exactly sure what he just called, but we're back to neutral in the middle. Pushed out of bounds, brought back to the middle. A minute 30 left in period three. Blake fights to get his two and they give it to him. Leads 4-3 over Osceola. Minute left in period three. Can he hold on and keep the lead?
30 seconds. Short time. He's got to hang on. Can he get in some near fall in a short time? but he still wins with a score of 4-3 over Osceola, bringing our team score to 9-0. Great job, Blake. Looks like we might have some blood on the mats. Getting it all cleaned up. We really do have the best athletic trainer. All right, blood's all cleaned up. And we have a forfeit at 160. That brings Osceola's team score to six, Ellsworth nine. All right, now wrestling at 170, we have Louis Yonke, a senior. I don't know the Osceola wrestler, going to be honest. If you joined us last time, you know that I'm really bad with names and can't really hear them announcing the wrestlers. So we make our best guess here. It's either Brett Bader, Connor Brader, or... Oh, that's it. Louis goes for the single leg. Attempts the trip. Brings him back in from out of bounds. <laughs> oh, Osceola does a little roll. Louie with a takedown straight into near fall. Not quite enough to get him some back points. But he did get that takedown. Pushed out of bounds, brought back to the middle. Louis in control. with the pin, a minute 52. That gives us 16 points. 
to bring our score to 15-6 over Osceola. Way to go, Louie. Looks like we're doing a little shuffling around to get a forfeit. Wrestling 182, we have Ethan Wienendahl, who was recently out with an injury, but was back after knee surgery. He receives a forfeit to earn us 16 points. Bumping up from his usual 182, we have Anthony Madsen receiving a forfeit at 195. Anthony is a senior this year and recently won the Northern Badger Tournament in River Falls, Wisconsin, followed by a first place victory at the Cannon Falls Tournament last weekend. He's had a really great season. Louis Yonke also won the tournament at Cannon Falls along with William Penn. Now wrestling at 220, we have Kelton Graff, who is a junior here at Ellsworth Wrestling, Nick Paro, Paro, Paro. Um, who is a senior at Osceola. They are pushed out of bounds, brought back into the middle, still in neutral. Osceola with the single leg and trip, down for the takedown and in near fall, pushed out of bounds, gets that two takedown and two near fall. Score for Osceola. Zero Ellsworth. Oh, that was a close one. Kelton with the reversal. Attempts to put in that cradle to earn himself some near fall. In near fall, can he hold it? Didn't quite get the pin, but did earn himself two points near fall to tie the score at 4-4. Ooh, Osceola with possibly the reversal. They haven't given them points yet. Two point reversal to Osceola. Attempted some near fall, didn't quite get it. That's the end of period one. Kelton with that last minute escape. Score, Ellsworth five, Osceola six. And they are beginning the second period in neutral position. Oh, Osceola with the throw. 
straight into near fall. Kelton with the bridge, trying to escape that pin. And that's a pin for Osceola. Team scores, Ellsworth 27, Osceola 12. And now presenting at 285, we have Brandon Carlton, who will receive a forfeit and six points for our team score. Brandon is a senior this year, and this is his first year wrestling. What a champ. And now we're back down to the small wrestlers. At 106, we have Noah Walker, who is a sophomore wrestling, I'm guessing, Logan Mayer. That's my best guess because they don't have a 106 listed on this sheet. Noah Walker with the takedown, earning himself two points. They are close to being out of bounds, so we'll see what he can do. Tries to get in control of that right arm. for Osceola, pushed out of bounds, brought back to the middle. Osceola has control. 46 seconds left in the first period. And that is the end of period one. Osceola gets choice, defers. Noah chooses neutral. Let's see if he can get that takedown. Osceola with the single leg and trip, gaining himself two point takedown. Score, Osceola four, Ellsworth two.
Noah fights himself free and gets one escape. Still in neutral position with 35 seconds left in the second period. Score, Ellsworth three, Osceola four. Osceola with the takedown for two. Throws him right into near fall. Noah fighting. Makes it back to his belly. Three point near fall for Osceola. Giving them nine points over Ellsworth's three. That's the end of period two. Osceola chooses bottom. Let's see if Walker can get something going here. No points yet. 40 seconds left in the third period. Just a short time left. And that is the end of the match. Osceola with the victory over Ellsworth with a score of 9-3. Bringing our team score 33 to 15. Presenting next, we have Carson Wright at 113 to receive a forfeit for Ellsworth, giving us six team points. Wrestling at 120, we have Gavin Ricky from Ellsworth versus Talon Berg of Osceola. 
Osceola with that takedown for two. Gavin Ricky with the escape for one. Another two point takedown for Osceola. Lets him up for one. Two point takedown for Osceola. So you got two point near fall. Caution green. Back in the middle and near fall. Or not near fall. My bad. Neutral. <laughs> it wouldn't be good if they started in near fall. <laughs> Still neutral. Not near fall. Two point takedown Osceola. First score of Osceola 10, Ellsworth 3. And that is the end of period one. Osceola starting on bottom, Gavin Ricky on top. Osceola with that two point reversal. Score 12 3. Ellsworth in near fall. Can Gavin hold on? Gavin makes it back to his belly. Osceola receiving three near fall, bringing their score to 15 over Ellsworth's three. Out of bounds, brought back to the middle. Osceola still in control. Osceola attempts some near fall. He's currently earning himself some back points. Can Ricky stay out of this one with a short time of three seconds? He bridges and he makes it. Three point near fall for Osceola, resulting in a tech fall with a score 18-3. He will earn himself six points for their team. Score, 39 
Ellsworth, 20, Osceola. Now wrestling at 126, we have Dylan Hornung from Osceola, who's a sophomore, wrestling J.D. Minder of Ellsworth, who is a freshman. J.D. right off the bat with a two-point takedown. J.D. also did very well at the Northern Badger, turn Northern Badger Tournament in River Falls a couple weekends ago, right around Christmas. He's had himself a really great season so far, too, and just earned himself three near fall points. Score 5-0 Ellsworth. J.D. brings him into near fall, earning those back points. Three near fall, score eight zero. Back in near fall, got 35 seconds to turn that into a pin. He squeezes. Can he get that pin? Short time of 10 seconds, and there it is. A pin for JD Minder. Team score, Ellsworth 45, Osceola 20. Double forfeit at 132. Looks like we're bumping Willie up. Wrestling at 138, we have Mason Rude, who is a senior from Osceola, versus William Willie Will Penn. I don't think I've ever called this kid the same name twice, but he is a darn good wrestler. Takedown right away. Willie with the near fall, earning himself three points, leading Osceola 5-0. Willie putting Osceola almost a near fall. Can he hold on and bring him back? Nope, Osceola returns to 
Their belly. That is the end of period one. Oh. Um, Willie defers. Osceola chooses neutral. Willie still up 5 0. Willie goes for the takedown. Can he finish and get his two? Single leg. Oh. Two point takedown right before they were out of bounds. Willie holding on to control, fighting for some near fall. In near fall with a pin. Minute left in the second period, earning six team points for Ellsworth. Way to go, Willie. And that will conclude the team duel between Osceola and Ellsworth. Final team scores, Ellsworth 51, Osceola 20.
Brent Sr. is the son of Brian and Dawn Matson, Anthony Matson. <laughs> All right, and we're back for the second duel, this time versus Baldwin Woodville Blackhawks.
Wrestling at 152 for Baldwin Woodville, we have Graydon Monikin versus Levi Nelson of Ellsworth. Baldwin Woodville with the two point takedown. It's like we got two refs for this duel. Out of bounds, brought back to the middle. Baldwin still in control. Levi with the escape, bringing the score to Ellsworth one, Baldwin twice. <laughs> Goodness, Baldwin two. <laughs> Oh, end of the first period. Ellsworth wins the coin toss and chooses bottom. Baldwin on top. Levi with the escape, tying the score at 2-2. Two -two. Levi with the single leg. He followed through with the trip. Nope. Back to neutral. Well, I guess they never left neutral, but still in neutral. Two-point takedown, Baldwin pushed out of bounds, brought back to the middle. Baldwin still on top. Caution, Red. Levi with the escape, score, Ellsworth three, Baldwin two, Levi shoots and gets his two point takedown. Pushed out of bounds, brought back to the middle. Ellsworth still in control. Hey, 
Mets and a period two. Score Ellsworth five, Baldwin four. Baldwin chooses neutral. Levi brushes his hair out of the way so he can see his opponent. Still in neutral with about 50 seconds left in period three. Levi still winning 5-4. Thirty seconds left. Who's gonna shoot? Pushed out of bounds. Stalling called on Levi. One point given to Baldwin. All tied up with a score of 5-5. Five, five, 20 seconds left in the match. Out of bounds. Brought back to middle. 16 seconds left. Not much time to make a move. Will someone score or will we go into overtime? We'll see in five seconds. Ooh. Getting a bit aggressive down there on the mats. Four seconds. No takedown called. We will go into overtime. One minute on the clock for this fourth period. Out of bounds. Getting close to that edge. Out of bounds. 17 seconds left. Out of bounds, yet again. Six seconds left. And that is the end of our first overtime. Green has choice. Levi chooses bottom. Goes for that escape. Baldwin holds that leg. Trips him, brings him back down to the mat. 
Baldwin still in control. 10 seconds left of the second overtime period. Levi fights for his one, pushed out of bounds. Baldwin still in control. Seven seconds left. It looks like our clock is being weird. Yeah, seven seconds. And that is the end of second overtime. Now we are into <laughs> period six. Third overtime, 30 seconds on the clock. Score still 5-5. Five, five. Levi needs some back points to win this. Ref gives one point to Baldwin Woodville. Not exactly sure what that was for. <laughs> Looks like they're having a bit of a disagreement. They think that Willie should have gotten those two points at the end. Head coach Mark Matzik is a little fired up. Levi looks to be bleeding a bit. Once again, shout out to our athletic trainer for all she does for us. Refs out there talking it over. I honestly have no idea what's gonna come of this. This is going to be a surprise to us all. Lucas Kirshner is advocating for two points for Levi Nelson. I, I think I side with Lucas. I think he had those two points at the end. But once again, I am a commentator, not a ref. Bringing in the head coaches to discuss even further. Man, this is just a riveting match. Six period match. Lucas is getting a little fired up. Levi is back over with the trainer getting the blood cleaned off of him. All right, looks like we have a final decision. Let's see what they call. One point escape to Levi. <laughs> to tie the score at 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> wow. All right, so we are still wrestling. <laughs> I really thought that was going to be done, but we're all tied up at 6-6 six, six in period seven. No, I, I really don't even know what period we're in right now. They're going to give Baldwin that one point escape to finally end the match. 
Wow. What a match. 7-6. Baldwin with the win on that one. Lucas doesn't agree. He's upset. I think we all are. All right, <laughs> starting fresh with a brand new match. Wrestling now at 160, we have Logan Gordon of Baldwin Woodville, who is a senior. Wrestling our very own Blake Nelson who is a sophomore. Looks like we still have some blood on the mat from Levi Nelson. Get that all cleaned up before we start. Looks like we're about ready to start. One more check. Drying off the mat a bit. Mark Matzik bringing out the warm up to dry off the mat. Update on team score, we have a score of Ellsworth 0, Baldwin Woodville 3. All right, starting off the match. Pushed out of bounds, <laughs> five seconds in. Brought back to the middle, still neutral. That was close to a takedown, but unfortunately, out of bounds. Brought back to the middle, still neutral. Out of bounds once again. Baldwin with a two point takedown. Blake Nelson in near fall, but not a pin. Three point near fall for Baldwin Woodville. Blake returns to his belly.
back in near fall. Baldwin earning two more near fall points. Score Baldwin seven, Ellsworth zero. Baldwin wins the, or has choice, defers. Blake chooses bottom. Baldwin still in control. We got a minute left in the second period. Score still 7-0 Baldwin. Not much happening on the mat, so there's not much to report on. 13 seconds left in the second period. And that's the end of the second period. Red is gonna choose neutral. Baldwin Woodville got that takedown, leading 9-0 over Ellsworth. Blake in near fall, can he fight? Yes, back to his belly. Ellsworth earning three near fall. Score 12-0. Baldwin's a little high. Can Blake get that reversal? He's fighting for it. And he gets that two point reversal. Blake in control. Blake putting Baldwin in near fall, earning himself two points. Score, Baldwin 12, Ellsworth four. Blake's got five seconds to do something. He puts him back in near fall. Oh, unfortunately it's not enough. Still earning two points near fall. Final score, 12-6.
Baldwin with the win on that match. All right, now wrestling at 170, which is his actual weight class, we have Louis Yonke um, versus Elliot Anderson of Baldwin Woodville. Two-point takedown, barely in bounds. Only held in bounds by his fruity pebble wrestling shoes. <laughs> he is very proud of those wrestling shoes, and they are phenomenal. We got a minute left in the first period. Louis still in control. Oh, Forget that. Baldwin Woodville with the two point reversal. Oh. <laughs> Louis fights to get it back, and he gets his two points. It was a wild turn of events. Louis winning 4-2 over Baldwin Woodville. Barely in bounds once again just by those fruity pebble wrestling shoes. Pushed out of bounds. Brought back to the middle. Less than 30 seconds to go. One point escape for Baldwin Woodville. Score, Ellsworth four, Baldwin Woodville three. Baldwin shoots, Louis sprawls. But nothing comes of it. That is the end of period one. Baldwin in control. Louis fighting for that two point reversal. And he gets it. Working to flip him over into near fall. He's in near fall, but can he hold on to it? And that's a pin for Louis Anki. Earning six points for our team score. That was a match with a lot of hair. Holy cow, both those wrestlers had quite the main. Louis has just had a fantastic year so far, which is great. You always want a great senior year. Next up at 182, which is also his regular weight, we have Anthony Madsen, who 
earned a forfeit against Osceola wrestling Andrew Thompson of Baldwin Woodville. Anthony shoots and gets that re not reversal, gets that takedown for two points, flips him over. Oh. Flips him into near fall. Can he hold it? Earns himself two near fall. Score 4 0. Pushed out of bounds, brought back to the middle. Anthony still in control. Flips him in an air fall and a pin. A 55 second pin to be exact. This man is unstoppable. Update on team score. Ellsworth has 12 points over Baldwin Woodville's six points. Both Anthony and Louie going 2-0 and today. Next up at 195, we have Drew Stark versus Ethan Venadol. It looks like Drew Stark's original weight is 160. So he is jumping up a few weight classes. Once again, Ethan Wienendahl returning to the mat after a knee surgery. Still in neutral. Fighting for that takedown, pushed out of bounds, brought back to the middle. Still neutral. We're still neutral, 45 seconds left. bounds brought back to the middle 14 seconds left and that is the end of period one no points have been scored green defers Baldwin Woodville chooses bottom. One escape for Ethan Wienendahl. Out of bounds. Two 
two-point takedown possibly. And just confirmed, two-point takedown for uh, Baldwin Woodville. My bad, I misspoke earlier. It was a escape for Baldwin Woodville. And then a two-point takedown. Score, three Baldwin, zero Ellsworth. Vienendahl fights to stay out of near fall. Not much happening on the mat, five seconds left. That is the end of period two. Vienendahl chooses neutral. Baldwin shoots, does not get the takedown, out of bounds, brought back to the middle, still neutral. Baldwin Woodville looking to get that two point takedown and he gets it. Leading 5-0. One point escape for Ethan Wienendahl. You know, you really got to applaud this kid for coming back after a knee surgery and being out for so long to come back and to wrestle this hard. Uh, Baldwin Woodville gets that takedown for another two points, leading 7-1. Stalling on Vienendahl, one point awarded to Baldwin Woodville. Ethan gets that escape, almost took out a cheerleader. No cheerleaders were harmed during this duel so far. Back to the middle. Baldwin looks to get that takedown and he gets it at the last second. Final score, 10 to Baldwin with the win. What a match for Vienendahl though. These cheerleaders are flying through the air. Next up, oh, I'm throwing things. Next up at 220, we have Mason Pelletier from Baldwin Woodville 
versus Kelton Graff of Ellsworth. Kelton goes right in for that shot. Two point takedown, looking for a pin. Can he do it? Oh, he's so close. Can he hold it? He's got a long time to settle in and hold that. Oh, he's so close. Wow. <laughs> He's got to squeeze. He's got to lift that head. And that's a pin for Kelton Graff. Wow. <laughs> that was spectacular. <laughs> Earning six team points. <laughs> what a match. We have some small wrestlers doing a couple of chants down there in the stands. Now wrestling heavyweight 285, we have Mason Baraboo of Baldwin Woodville, who's a senior, versus Brandon Carlton of Ellsworth, who's also a senior. Nothing happening yet on the mat. Just over a minute left in the first period. You know, I grabbed my stress ball, so I had to stop clicking that pen. Then I keep picking the pen up. So sorry if you can hear that. Thirty seconds left in the first period. Score: zero zero. That's the end of period one. Brandon Carlton defers Baldwin Woodville. Mason Baraboo chooses bottom. Brandon Carlton giving up that escape to return to neutral. 1-0, Baldwin leading.
Still not much happening on the mat. 25 seconds left in the second period. Score, 1-0. Baldwin shoots. Brandon spins. Nothing happens. Back upright. End of period two. Brandon chooses neutral again. I believe that was a stalling point. Score 2 0, Baldwin. Baldwin spins and gets that takedown for two. We got just under a minute left in the third period. Baldwin in control. Baldwin puts him in near fall, and that is a pin. Update on the team score. Ellsworth, 18. Baldwin, Woodville, 16. This duel is a lot closer than Osceola. You know, you really got to applaud Brandon Carlton for his efforts because he has never wrestled in his life, coming out as a senior heavyweight to fill the need of a heavyweight on this team. A real team player. All right, now wrestling 106, we have our lightweight, Noah Walker, who is a sophomore versus, I'm guessing, Carter Benson of Baldwin Woodville, but once again, I am horrible with names and did not hear them. Noah Walker throws him right into near fall. Can he pull it off and get a pin? He lifts the head and there it is, a 24 second pin by Noah Walker. Outstanding kid, full of energy. Great attitude. Another update on the team score. Ellsworth, 24. Baldwin, Woodville, 16. We have the Little Wrestlers doing some Ellsworth chants again. They are really bringing the energy to tonight's duel. Wrestling at 113, we have Drake Gartman, I think is what they said. Wrestling, Carson Wright of Ellsworth. Carson Wright is a junior and has a fantastic mullet. Baldwin Woodville shoots right off the bat and gets that two point takedown. Flips Carson over, but not enough. Carson rolls right to his belly. Tries it again. 
Getting himself some back points. Carson Wright still in near fall. Fighting to not get pinned. Got about a minute left, and there is a pin for Baldwin Woodville. Earning them 16 points, bringing the score to 24 22. Ellsworth still in the lead, hanging on by a thread with those two points. At 120, Baldwin wins by forfeit. I'm guessing that was Bowden Anderson. He's the only one listed at 120. Wrestling 126, we have Cole Brash from Baldwin Woodville versus our very own JD Minder, who got himself a pin versus Osceola in the first duel. As I was saying before, JD has had a great season, placing very well at um, Northern Badger in River Falls. Baldwin Woodville with that two point takedown. Out of bounds, brought back to the middle. Baldwin Woodville still in control. JD fights to get that escape, but doesn't quite get there. We got just under a minute left in the first period. Score 2 0 Baldwin. <laughs> Called out of bounds. Brought back to the middle. Baldwin Woodville still in control with 33 seconds left in the first period. JD with the escape, bringing the score to 2-1 Baldwin. Fights to get that Takedown. Oh, pushed out of bounds before he can quite get it. Nope, they gave it to him. Nope, they're gonna fight. Taking a pause, Baldwin Woodville coach talking to the ref, challenging that two point takedown. It's gonna stay as called. Two point takedown for JD. Three to Ellsworth. That is the end of the first period. Ellsworth gets first call, defers. Baldwin Woodville chooses bottom. So no change in position here. Ooh. Some 
Kings are rocky. Baldwin Woodville with that two point reversal right into near fall. JD fights to get out of it. Returns to his belly, giving up three point near fall for a score of 7 3 Baldwin. Fighting for that two point reversal. Haven't called it yet. Baldwin's still got that leg. He's got to clear the hips, spin and get his two. Can he get his leg out to earn himself that reversal? Oh, oh. Doesn't quite get it, so no change. Still 3-7 Baldwin. Baldwin's got that single leg, looks for the trip. Oh, rolls a little too far. JD gets an escape. End of the second period. Score, 7-3 Baldwin. And it looks like we have some blood time. Yeah. Had a lot of blood tonight. It's not a wrestling match without some blood time. And we're back. Baldwin with possession, but not for long. JD with that one point escape. Bringing the score to 5 7. Still Baldwin, though. JD fighting for that two point takedown. Still haven't given him to him. Pushed out of bounds, brought back in. Still neutral. Stalling called on red. No points given off though. Baldwin gets a hold of that leg. Oh, that does not look comfortable. JD fights to not get that takedown, but Baldwin gets the takedown. Pushed out of bounds. Brought back in. Baldwin in control. 50 seconds left in period three. Oh, 
Oh. Rolled a little too far. JD with the two point reversal. Score, 7 9. He's going to need to get some near fall if he's going to pull this off. He's got 30 seconds to go in the third period. Twenty seconds left. Called that potentially dangerous. Brought back to the middle. Looks like Baldwin is bleeding again. Second blood time out of the match. Looks like we had a little bit of blood on the mat, getting that cleaned up. Baldwin is back in action. 20 seconds left in period three. JD in control, score 7-9, Baldwin. Can he pull it off in 10 seconds? And that's the end of the match. Baldwin with the win, 9-7. Earning them three more team points. Update on team score. Baldwin, 31. Ellsworth, 24. Gotta get my pen back. All right, now wrestling 132, we have Ty Fink, who is a senior from Baldwin Woodville, versus our very own William Willie Will Penn. Last match against Osceola, Willie earned himself a pin. So he's having a great night so far. We'll see if he can keep it up and claim another victory over Baldwin Woodville. Baldwin with that two point takedown. Willie with the reversal. Minute left, all tied up at 2-2. Two -two. Baldwin with a two-point reversal. Score, 2-4 Baldwin. That's the end of period one. Uh, looks like Willie is bleeding. <laughs> Yet another blood time. Imagine that.
And we're back in action. Baldwin in control to start the second period, but not for long. Willie with that escape, bringing the score to 3-4 Baldwin. up in a ball down there on the mat. They're going to call stalemate. Back to the middle. <laughs> Willie's nose plug falls out. We're in neutral at the middle of the mat. 1.22 left in the second period. Oh, that was a hard takedown. The Baldwin scores for two, bringing the score to 6-3 Baldwin. Right on the edge of the mat. Willie just can't keep that bloody nose under control. We are on blood time again. Back in the middle. Baldwin in control, leading 6-3. 47 seconds left in period two. Still quite a bit of time to get some wrestling in. And Willie with the reversal, bringing the score to 5-6. Can he get some near fall? That's the end of period two. Score, five, six, Baldwin still leading. Starting in neutral, last period. We're gonna see who can get this takedown. Baldwin shoots, nothing comes of it. Still upright. Baldwin shoots and scores for two. Five eight. Willie with the escape, bringing it to six eight. Baldwin goes for that takedown, but doesn't get it pushed out of bounds. Still neutral, brought back to the middle. Baldwin shoots, grabs a hold of that leg. No takedown yet. Called potentially dangerous. 
Back to the middle, neutral again. 38 seconds left of period three. And that is the end of the match. Baldwin Woodville claims the victory on that one with a final score of 8-6. These are some close matches. Receiving a forfeit at 138, we have Hunter Gartman from Baldwin. Also receiving a forfeit at 145, we have Austin Schmidt. Final team score, Ellsworth 24, Baldwin Woodville 46. Thanks so much for tuning in and joining us tonight.